Hello and welcome fellow bookworms and film fans. Welcome to this week's episode of The Consented Narrative. I'll be looking at Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie by Mae Gibbs. <coughs> and this is uh, Australian children's classics. So it's not one that you necessarily would have heard of. Um, but me and Nikki, we used to read this all the time when we were little. We had it brought over from Australia by one of our grandparents. And um, we sort of grew up with these little stories. Um, and honestly, it's just a load of fun. So what I love most about the Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie books is because it's set in Australia, you get a lot of the Australian wildlife. So you get like kookaburras and you get like, um, there's other ones as well. And I genuinely can't think of a single Australian, um, yeah. <laughs> so there's a few. So you've got koalas as well and everything like that. And it's just... It follows, you've got Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie, who are sort of like the main characters as such. And they're like little, they're foster brothers. Um, and I don't, I don't know what you would call them as such. What like kind of, um, whether or not they're, they're, they're obviously not human, but whether or not they're like imps or what. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and it follows them on their sort of like their adventures. Um, and in this little series that we've got, we've got three stories. We've got Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie, Little Ragged Blossom and Little Obelia. Um, and it's just it it's just a collection of really sweet little stories um as it follows these two foster brothers on their adventures and how they interact with other people and sometimes as well you come across a character and then you're like oh, okay you know they've done their bit and then you come across the character again later and you're like oh and it's just it's a lot of fun and I honestly I could keep rereading this I don't necessarily have to have children to read this because I've got the wishing chair collection that I thoroughly enjoy as well I've got you know the Narnia series that I really enjoy uh, the Lemony Snicket books as well um, that are sort of made for children um, and I just I thoroughly love it I would definitely say with this one it, it it was a little bit harder to get because of the fact that it's Australian books rather than sort of like English fairy tales but it's not they're not fables so they're not there's not like morals of the story in the respects that like it's very I know with some children's books it's like you know love everyone don't bully and I, I'm saying it like you, you shouldn't bully and you should love everyone but it's very sort of like and that's why you know you never judge a book by its cover and all of that whereas these are just fun little romp through like a, a magical underworld underworlds they're not <laughs> they're not dead um and they meet like fishes and frogs and koalas and you know it's just oh yeah so and there's a possum as well like there's just just everything just absolutely everything and I thoroughly loved it I would say if you've got kids find these books and read them to your children because they will enjoy them um and as I said I I thoroughly enjoyed it and I know uh, Nikki enjoyed it as well when she was younger I don't know if she loves it as much now but you know people's taste changes they get older and it's just nice to know that when I do reread it it's not because sometimes you find when you reread books that you loved as a child like Goosebumps I can't reread Goosebumps that I just find them they're just not as good um as I remember when the first time I read them but with these with this one I'm when I reread it I'm like oh this is so much fun and it's such an easy read I mean you can get this done in a couple of hours uh well depending on your speeding read, a couple of days. And so I would definitely say if you can, get hold of this, give them a read, let me know what you think below in the comments. It'd be nice to know if other people out there have even heard of Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie or have read them previous to this to this video. Um, thank you so much for your continued support. If you agree or disagree with anything, leave it below in the comments. Don't forget to click subscribe so you're alerted when a new video comes out. And remember to always keep it contento.